Tarif. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are all doing well out in podcast and video land. For those of you who don't know me, my name is John Shank, and I'm the founder and managing broker of Deerwood Realty here in St. Louis, Missouri. If you like stories about neighbors, HOAs, um, let's see, what else? What else could we say? Uh, bad real estate agents, bad development deals, bad real estate developers then you've come to the right place. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe or go to our channel, Dear Old Realty STL on YouTube, and uh, that should get you uh, fixed up with a lot of content. Um, I like the rest of the world. I like to get out of St. Louis with my, the way I think, and I like to think about the rest of the world, and I like to see how other uh, cultures think about things and how they do things. And I have found a wonderful story today out of uh, Taiwan. A woman is very upset that her scallions were stolen. And it turns out it was the neighbor across the street. And, uh, you know, the main argument was that we shouldn't be wasting precious judicial resources on this, uh, on this prosecution but uh, you know where's the line if someone can literally drive their motorcycle up and take scallions you know right off the street there is no justice there's there's just there's just lawlessness and so uh i don't know i wanted to go over it with you because the writing i don't know if it's i don't know if it's translated into english but the way the story's written is so well done um, and I will put that up there on the screen for you. I'll go through it. Um, although the, 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 the woman that was the, considered the thief, although Chu committed what some might consider a minor crime, uh, because the victim had often experienced theft, she could not forgive her. And uh, as the two parties had not reached a settlement, the prosecutor requested a summary sentence after taking into consideration the defendant's attitude and the victim's feelings. The, sto the value of the stolen vegetable was not the main basis for the judgment. And so uh, what had happened is in July, uh, Yin called the police after discovering that the scallions she had planted in front of her house were being stolen. So this wasn't an isolated event. This had happened multiple times. Um, they checked, the police checked the surveillance camera and uh, they had found someone had parked a motorcycle in front of the home and uh, then left after they had, you know, taken the plant. And the thing is, is that the person that was taking it was living just across the street from our, uh, from our person. And so, you know, a lot of times I'll hear this argument. I'll get this right here like this. A lot of times I'll hear the argument that, uh, you know, it's, a, it's just a minor transgression. You should, uh, you should allow, you know, things like this to go through. And I, I understand the relevance argument. If it was your scallions, that's one thing. If it's your catalytic converters, that's quite a, quite a different situation. Somewhat based on value. This article is more based on the, the principle of it all. And so uh, I just wanted to go over some of the thoughts I had and uh, some of the questions. And uh, one of those would be, uh, some might say it is a minor cr crime, but the victim had experienced previous theft and therefore could not forgive, could not forgive her neighbor. And so, uh, so this is like a, this is a person that's, that's had their things stolen before and they don't like it. And, and so they took that into consideration. Another thing they took into consideration was the victim's feelings and the defendant's attitude. Um, and then they said in the article, the value of the plant was not the basis for the judgment. 
And so I was wondering, in, in the United States, do we consider the uh, victim's feelings and the defendant's attitude? I think we definitely, you know, when you see court cases, you'll see people, you know, get up on the stand and say, you know, you did this or that and it was terrible. And I, I totally understand that. But we, do, we, uh, do we look at the defendant's attitude uh, in making a decision? And then some legal experts said that the prosecutor should not have brought the charges or should have deferred prosecution, arguing that there is no need to consume judicial resources on such minor incidents. And I was just wondering what you thought about that. We, in, in America right now, we're seeing where uh, certain crimes are not being prosecuted actively by certain attorney generals uh, across the country. And, uh, and I just, you know, I'm obviously in, in some of these places, they're not going to prosecute for, for stealing uh, scallions. They're not even going to prosecute for anything less than 800 bucks. So anyway, it, the question, beca- like, is it, you know, is it okay to steal from somebody? I mean, that's, that's kind of the way this is. And this is kind of the way this particular uh, group is, is looking at it. And they're saying this is not, this is not okay. And uh, the last line in the article that I thought was fascinating was, is, as they are neighbors, Chu could have asked if she wanted the scallions. And I think that's, I think that's a lesson for us all. I mean, you know, if you're neighbors and your neighbor needs something, I mean, they could ask. They don't have to steal. So that's kind of what I had today, uh, a very light very light podcast on the the different ways people look at thefts Uh, while it may seem like a small thing to to one person it's it seems to be quite troubling for the person that got their scallions stolen if uh if you have a story about someone stealing your scallions maybe uh maybe somebody in the neighborhood putting up a tree fort um a wild animal that was murdered in the, in the yard. Um, anything you want, uh, you're welcome to email me at media dear realty com, or you can leave me a voicemail message at three, one, four, two, seven, four, three, nine, six, four. And we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. We'll see what, uh, what's going on. And then I've been working on the, you know, is my neighbor crazy or is it just me? And that will be out as soon as I can put it together. But that's a, that's a new thing we're going to do, and uh, I think we can have a lot of fun with it. So, not a long video today, but, uh, but I, I think important on the, I mean, if it was a turnip, would they be prosecuted? An orange? Anyway, uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.